Heading away from Mount Batur, we passed the island's highest volcanic peak, the 3,142-metre Ganung Agung, as we made our way towards the east coast. Agung provides the backdrop to Bali's most sacred temple. Bazagi is the largest temple complex here on Bali and it dates back to the 8th century. It's a centre of worship for people from throughout the region, hence it's also known as the Mother Temple. Nearby you can explore the charms of an old-fashioned aqua park. This water playground was built by the last king of the Karang Asam dynasty back in 1948. All the pools here are fed by natural spring water, which is cool and surprisingly clear. Bali's former royal rulers certainly knew how to have fun. As we made our way through the foothills, Bali's stunning rice terraces greeted us at every turn. The rice field system here dates back over 2,000 years. After following the winding roads, we arrived at Candidasa on the east coast. My place of rest for this night was the Alila Mangus Resort. First though, I wanted to enjoy the location. As a new day began, I ventured to the resort's own mountaintop bale for breakfast, with a view over the rice terraces and the coastline below. I couldn't think of a nicer way to enjoy the beauty of the rice terraces and Bali's east coast. The Alila Resort has its own bale tucked away up here in the hills, where you can enjoy high tea, or breakfast. <laughs>